Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and welcome to the 21st episode of Elevate with Ankara. If you don't know what Elevate with Ankara is, Elevate with Ankara is a series that I have on my channel as well as Cherie of Cherie Thomas where we talk about all things Ankara and we show you how you can elevate your basic sewing patterns by using Ankara fabric. For today's video, we are going to be revealing our next garments that we will be showcasing. And we are going to be making a two piece outfit. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the patterns that I have from my personal stash that I plan to pick from to make my two piece outfit that we will reveal later on in the month. So if you like this content, I hope you plan on sticking around and go ahead and click the like button and the subscribe button if you have not done so already. And I'll go ahead and show you which patterns that I plan to choose from. Okay, so the first pattern that we have here is Simplicity 9714. The pattern description for this is Mrs. Jacket Pant and Short by Mimi G. It also describes the pattern as a jacket with shawl collar features, side self tie and patch pockets, the jacket sits below the waist, shorts and pants have a front fly, slash pockets, and an elastic back. So the reason why I chose this is because as you can see here on the screen, this is very, very simple. However, it is super cute with this linen. I think it's absolutely adorable the way it is. But if you want to flash it up, take it up a notch, you can use some Ankara fabric. It will be absolutely fa fabulous, especially, you know, if you use certain types of prints. So here is a close up of the jacket here. You know, it's kind of basic, like I said, but this tie feature is absolutely adorable. And you can also like color block the ties, you know, do whatever you want. But I just think it's a great pattern for the Ankara fabric. I also like the fact that you can have shorts it, or you can have pants. So here's what the pants look like. They look kind of like a crop pant. And here's what the shorts look like. And I just like that closure too, you know, so there's no button, you know, so the, the tie is just kind of like an extra flare. But yeah, I, I have been eyeballing this pattern for a long time and I love it. And I like how she scrunches up her sleeves here in this picture too. So this pattern is rated as average and it does have a sew along as you can see here. And here is the line art. You know, I've heard different sewers talk about how they love a flat front elastic back. So you have it here too. Like I said, it, it seems very, very, very nice. And um, the only thing I don't prefer to deal with is this front fly. Um, so if I don't make it, that would be honestly the reason why. But I think it's perfect, perfect for Ankara fabric. So that is my first pattern and I'll go ahead and go to the next one. So since we are on Mimi G, I decided to go to the next pattern that I liked, which is also another Mimi G. And this is Simplicity 9550. I have featured this in another video before this same pattern because to be honest, I actually just love the look of it. And the description for this pattern is Mrs. Topps Shorts and skirt and the description also goes on to say that it is a pullover top that has puffed dolman sleeves with finished um, elastic at the hems and back button closure view b's top features short cuff sleeves elastic at the hem and the open back with self ties and then there's a mid calf skirt and mid thigh shorts that have a back zipper hip yoke and sash and it also has a tutorial so let's take a closer look here. This is your shirt. I believe this is view A shirt. And it's very simple. I'm sure that this is just two pattern pieces, a front and a back because it's dolman sleeves. And then you have your elastic for your sleeves um, to finish it off. This here is the short. So this is a short with a big yoke. And it has gathers here in between this yoke seam and the shorts. And I just love this look. I always love fit and flare type things and these shorts are giving me that vibe. Yeah, and, and you all know I don't make many, many shorts. These here right here, these are, you know, these would be the type of shorts that I would wear on a regular basis. 
So I believe there is, Aronica is on her plus size pattern and she has the skirt. So maybe I could show you that pattern after here, but let's go ahead and look at the line drawings. So here are the line drawings. And yes, this is like two pattern pieces for view A. You have your front and your back. View B, you know, I'm sure the cuff is, um, you know, a different pattern piece and then you have your tie. So, you know, four pattern pieces right here and your elastic there. And here are the line drawings for the skirt. It's just a long skirt, but you have that high yoke. I love that option. I recently made a different simplicity pattern. It didn't have a yoke. It just uh, had, you know, your elastic, which is fine because it was like very, very wide. However, this gives it the clean finish with the gathers. So I definitely like this option. And then it also has a belt tie here. And yeah, it just looks pretty good. Like, I don't think I would make the tie if I made this pattern. And I'm not sure if I would make the skirt or the shorts, but I'm definitely loving this whole vibe. And um, her fabric right here is a busy fabric that is similar to what Ankara fabric is. So this just kind of, you know, shows you what it could look like. If you made it in a solid color, I don't feel like it would give it as much like fashion or flair. I have seen this made in a more solid color and it was fine or whatever, but I definitely feel like making this in Ankara or busier fabric is what sets this off especially since it has like very few pattern pieces and things like that so yeah this is a great one simplicity 9550 and i'll go ahead and go to the next pattern all right so this next pattern is simplicity 9610 and the pattern description for this is mrs sets of top cropped pants and shorts now i have had this pattern since it came out and I absolutely love it for the simple fact that it is a set. I don't have a whole lot of set patterns. Like I had mentioned earlier, all of the patterns are that I'm showing you, I do have in my personal stash. And this was one that I really, really love because number one, like I said, it's a set. Number two, it's easy to sew. Number three, the pants have the flat front you know to it and I believe it's flat all the way around and I like the top option so um, let's go and look into the description further it also reads that it's a relaxed shirt with back yoke and crop skirt shirt with open back and has drop shoulders and elbow length sleeves and the pants are straight leg crop it also says that the straight leg crop pants and shorts have patch pocket details so let's take a look at this further because I want you to see the open back option that I really, really love. And I found an inspiration picture on Pinterest when I was looking for outfits to make for my birthday that also drew me to this pattern because this was the closest look that I could find. And I think it would be amazing. So here is a top A, which is the bigger or, or norm, more normal length top. View B is your crop top. And then here's your pants. Of course, your shorts. And then the model's wearing them right here. It looks like she may be wearing Ankara fabric. It wouldn't be an Ankara fabric of my choice, but the Ankara fabrics of my choice, it would certainly look fabulous with this pattern. So let's look at the line drawings. Here's the top right here and this is view B. I think that's so cute to have a cropped top from view B with this open back. Now, if I made this version though, I would not put the buttons on there. I would just let it be a top with this cropped um, look and the back opening. And I would make these pants that are flat all the way around and I would probably put a flare to it, but I really love this set for Ankara fabric. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next pattern. All right, so this next pattern is Butterick 6901, and the pattern description is Mrs. Vest Pants and Short. The vest is fully lined and has back tie-ins, and the pants and shorts have pleat fronts and side pockets and an invisible zipper. So I am a fan of vests and pants sets. Uh, I have some fabric here that I plan to make um, two more sets out of. I do have one set 
love it wear it all the time and people really really compliment it i don't know if it's because that's not something you see that often normally you see a blazer and a pant or a skirt or something like that but i'm a fan of vests and that is the reason why i picked this and i also feel like making this in Ankara will be great because while you have your top and your bottom you can break up some of the print and busyness of the Ankara with the buttons from the vest and by wearing an undershirt so like for me I would wear a long sleeve button down shirt underneath the vest uh, I wouldn't necessarily wear the vest plain I don't think I've ever worn a vest plain it looks good on her but that's just not my jam. So sometimes I feel like depending on the busyness of the Ankara fabric, it's nice to be able to break it up and having a solid color underneath the vest would break up the prints and the busyness of the Ankara fabric and allow it to pop even more. So yes, this would definitely help to elevate Ankara. I love it, it's simple, but it is, it's, it's good. It's a good pattern. So let's go ahead and look at the line drawings. So here are the line drawings here. Like I said, you have your four buttons. You have some darts here and some pocket detail. Here's the back. And then here are your pants and shorts. So yeah, definitely a good pattern. And, and I that's that's probably one of the the higher ones on my list so let's take a look at the next pattern all right so for the next pattern we have no me 2033 and this pattern is just was designed by handmade millennial and her pattern description is mrs crop tops and pants it's a pullover tank or cap sleeve crop top with a square neckline and barrel leg pants and they have a fun curved color blocking detail. The pull on pants have front waistbands with elastic at the back and side seam pockets. Um, so this is rated as easy and it also has a sew along to it. And I love this for the color blocking feature and because it is a very nice everyday type of wear outfit. So let's take a closer look. Here's the top. Um, top view A here is the sleeveless version. So it's basically the top without the sleeves. And, um, and I just love the design and the curve of her color blocking. Here's what the pants look like at the bottom. And again, they're cropped and they, you know, I just like the style of it. Now, let's look at the other images this is what the back of it looks like so super cool so the way i would use ankara with this is i would use it for the color blocking so i would either use one print like here and another print here or either one print here or there and use a solid for the other i think that would be very neat to be honest i would be more drawn to using one ankara one solid and I think it would look really, really neat. Definitely a standout type of outfit. And I think it would definitely elevate it. So let's look at the line drawings. Here are your line drawings. They're so clear here. You have bus stars and a flat front and elastic back without the zip front fly or whatever it's called. So yeah, definitely up my alley. <laughs> and I think it would absolutely look adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the next pattern. So this next pattern is Vogue 1486. The pattern description is Mrs. Crop Top in flared yoke skirts. It is close fitting and has cap sleeves for the top. The skirt has aligned waistband, side pockets, and pleated lower front and back. And it's cut on the cross grain. And it does have an exposed back zipper. And this is supposed to be used for moderate stretch knits only, but I would certainly still use Ankara fabric for this, uh, just because I could tell whether I can or not, and I can. I love this whole entire outfit. I love a boxy top, and I love a flared skirt. So, I mean, what else? What else is there to say? 
I don't think you need to do much with this because it, you know you would just use your Ankara fabric. You could color block it in these different areas in the skirt, but as far as the top. I would just use the Ankara fabric and have my exposed zipper and I would you definitely use a zipper that's going to really really stand out and that will be my pop. So let's go ahead and look at the line drawings here. Here are your line drawings. And yeah, just it's just beautiful. This work here or this pattern I should say is by Nicola Finetti. And it's just, I just think it's gorgeous. I love it. And then we have Simplicity 8924. With fall coming, you may just want some kind of uh, two-piece outfit that you can wear on a regular basis. And you can use this pattern for that and make a jacket and pants. Again, this is Simplicity 8924. And the pattern description is Simplicity Sewing Pattern, Mrs. Jacket Top, Tunic, and Pull on Pants. And this pattern is rated as average. I have made a, a tunic or a jacket, I should say, that looks like view A many times. It's very easy to make. And pull on plant pants are as well. So here is a close up of the pattern. Here's your jacket and here's your pants. I don't necessarily like this roll thing here at the bottom, so I may not do that if I do this pattern. Honestly, you can make a Kara out of the, this. And the pants and I see here where she doesn't have her pants rolled up so they're basic pants with a normal fit so perfect perfect for Ankara and here are the line drawings all right everyone so that is all for the patterns that I have to share with you that I am going to be picking from to make my two-piece Ankara set please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite pattern and which one you think that I'll be making if you like this video please give me a like and if you have not done so already please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the great notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i will see you in the next video bye